this point, your uh, Gorilla Tape or your electric tape, whatever, I just ripped off a couple pieces and uh, stuck, just gently stuck them over here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and, and reassemble the back side of this housing, putting on our dust cap and feeding our wires through. Initially in the beginning, I said to go ahead and, and put your wiring through this dust cap. Uh, you don't do that. Um, I misspoke on that. So go ahead and feed these wires, which are going to be straightened out here. Your, let's stick some there. Your two amp plugs for your bulb, and then the input uh, that was connected to the to the OEM input. This is going to go to our ballast. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Sure, our wires are need to be in there or in there. And then get this cap on. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and just tape it there. This is not permanent. This is just uh, to hold it in place. Okay. Want to get everything mocked up. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to hook this up and I'm going to we're going to test this before we uh, make anything permanent. Test all the functionality. Let's go ahead and feed this through your dust cap. Drum it on there. Now, if this is loose, at this point, you know, you might want to, before, before we're all said and done, you might want to take and, uh, you know, use some silicone adhesive on the back side and, uh, you know, get that, get that sealed up. But go ahead and click that on and, and secure it. At this point, what should be sticking out are your, pull these a little more, your amp plugs for, that go to your bulb. And then this plug here that we connected to the OEM um, bulb input. So you go ahead and take your ballast. I'm going to show you how this all hooks up. You have your input here that goes into what's called the error canceller. And you do have on here positive and negative connections. Now they should line up here correctly. Okay, but we're going to make sure that they do. Clicks on. Okay, so positive, negative, positive, negative. On this end, you have your amp connections for your bulb. They only go in one way. It's pretty simple here. Now this blue wire, once we get it installed into the truck, the blue wire is supposed to be for a ground. Now there's a cross member on the front of the Sierra that goes from the quarter panel on the side to the front clip, um, the 10 millimeter bolt. You can loosen that up, scuff it with a little bit of sandpaper to expose some of the bare metal through the paint, and then you can fasten this thing down onto there. Okay. So at this point, my suggestion is, is that you take this all over to your truck and uh, you, you hook it up and then test to make sure that your, your bi-xenon works, so your shutter, your high-low beam, and that you know everything powers on manually through park as well as put it into drive and make sure that the lights come on. Now keep in mind that if it's the daytime, um, you might want to take a rag, put it over the DRL sensor so that you can uh, test to make sure that that works as well. Okay?